Have you heard of Trusty Patches? If ever a man has rubbed me up the wrong way, if he ever comes around again, I swear I'll have his hide. He's the kind of person who'd stab his mother in the back. If you happen to spot him, you'll be doing us all a favor by putting him out of his misery. Everybody hates Patches. Well, mostly everybody. Players just cannot get over being mildly inconvenienced by an NPC. Here's Patches helping me find the lantern. <laughs> this is what I do, my friend. The trinkets I'll be stripping off your corpse. That's the real treasure. <laughs> How many of you have ever felt personally victimized by Patches? Oh, for heaven's sake, let's not mope about, eh? You're still alive? I said I'm sorry. All's well that ends well. Everybody makes mistakes. I'm not above it all, I swear. I'm trusty Patches, the one and only. I know, this should make up for it. We're on the same side. Undead outcasts. Fantastic, isn't it? <laughs> Patches receives way more vitriol than most opposing characters in a video game. Particularly bosses that some fans adore greatly in spite of the opposition. Despite his tricks he is helpful and usually ends up being a merchant, which can be useful, particularly in Demon's Souls. Well, welcome to Trusty Patch's Trove of Treasures. We chop prices, not limbs. I'm done with the looting. I'm a humble merchant now. And wondrous treasures have I, at a special price for you. Nothing here is stolen, I swear. I no longer partake in the whole corpse robbing thing. Yeah, no, I'm completely free from my vice. Uh, my old mother would be proud indeed. Aren't you proud of me too? What? Nothing appeals to you? Well, <laughs> you must have poor taste. And he often yeah, tells you the truth about some of the shady though. characters you, you meet. Believe me on this one, my love. A man is trouble. I can see it in his eyes. I just can. <laughs> no doubt about it. Watch him. Wait, have you met Petrus? That self-proclaimed cleric? Believe me on this one, my love. The man is scum. Don't you be fooled by his claims to do good. They're all the same, those rotten clerics. Boy, have you met Lautrec the Embraced? Believe me on this one, my love. He's completely mad. He wouldn't think twice about cutting somebody down. So watch out for him. Especially if you've humanity to spare. There's an excellent video that I will link in the description which details a heartwarming theory that rings true to me. Ah, hello. You don't look Basically the idea is that Solaire is based on Miyazaki himself. Parent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead. This I makes sense, but what if I told you that Patches and Solaire are two sides of the same coin? Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> yeah, have you met that sunbathing Solaire? Believe me on this one, my love. He's a complete idiot. But he happens to be an awfully strong idiot. So just nod your head and keep him on your side. <laughs> Hidetaka Miyazaki, known troll and D&D nerd, is the dungeon master and we are playing his campaigns. As a game designer he puts our characters in danger but rewards us for facing it. From time to time, he has his little troll avatar come in to trick us. 
but ultimately help us on our journeys. Could that really be me, John? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? <laughs> oh, this cannot be. <laughs> now, wait just a moment. Do you think you love me? Me? Oh, it pains me to hear it. You've made yourself a Miss Reckoning. I shared with you a thing most secret. Now, you're witness to a miracle. And all the stronger for it. It's plain as a pike staff. Now, say in my heart, you were as a lamb to my God. Well, you weren't to know, and it wasn't for you to know. All's well that ends well, I say. <laughs> no matter. Such details are trifling. We're fast friends by now. Let this express what words cannot. Oh, d doubt me not, sweet compere. What is friendship but a chance encounter? <laughs> Unbreakable Patches adored this ring and the feeling that it gave him when he kicked his marks into the depths of treacherous traps, but suffered no shortage of ridicule from his associates for relying so heavily on the tired old trick. But who is the sorrier? The horse who knows only to kick? or the fool who approaches the old beast without thought.